Almost every fisherman I know keeps all of their waypoints on their hummingbird unit. After a while this becomes unwieldy because you get so many waypoints it's hard to manage them. Sometimes people get so many waypoints that the system won't let them add any more. I created the split waypoint file application that will allow you to take a file that you extract from your hummingbird unit and break it into pieces. In this example I'm going to zero in on Lake Ray Hubbard. We're going to extract all the waypoints from that and create a separate file. Let's get started. When you're zoomed out it's easy to see all of the waypoints for the lake group together. Using your cursor move to a point northwest of the lake and press the mark button to create a new waypoint. Follow the edit waypoint submenu prompts to edit the name. You will key in slash slash and a capital A and remove all characters after that. After saving the name arrow down to save the waypoint edits you just made. You will now see the waypoint along with its name slash slash A. Move the cursor to the northeast corner and create the icon slash slash B. Now move down to the southwest corner and create the icon slash slash C. Finally move to the southeast corner and create the slash slash D waypoint. Note that these must appear in this order A, B, C, D at these positions. It won't work if you don't do it this way. We're now at step two. We're going to extract all of the waypoints that are in our unit. First thing we want to do is go to your nav menu, then select waypoints, routes, and tracks, then take the option to select all, and then choose export. Make sure that you have either a zero lines card or a SD card that has 32 gigabytes or less capacity. Make sure that's inserted. Arrow to the right on the confirm message to save the tracks, waypoints, and routes. I have inserted my card into my unit and now I'm in my Humminbird PC application and I want to take the information that I extracted from my unit and put it into my PC. So I'm going to click on the down arrow. It brought it up. These are my waypoints. And that's going to show me the slash slash A, B, and C and D boundary icons that I put in. One thing to note is that this is a temporary file that we created from the information that's in our Humminbird unit. So that information is still there. So I'm going to manipulate this file a little bit, but it's not going to hurt anything because we've not actually removed any data from your unit. So in order for our process to work, I need to remove the tracks that may be in the system. So I'm going to right click on each one of them and delete. These tracks take up an awful lot of room and really slow down the processing power and the file may not load if you leave them in. So it makes it just much smoother if we go ahead and remove them from this temporary file. Okay, we're done. Now we're done with step three. We're now going to build the file for Lake Ray Hubbard. So we go to our website, lakeimagestraining.com. I'll go to the utilities menu and I want to click split waypoint file. And now what this is going to do is it's going to take that information from the file that we exported and it's got the boundary icons, the mark waypoints that we put in and it's going to build a file based on that. Everything that falls within these boundaries will be included in this file. So first thing I need to do is choose my file and it's the file we just loaded. I'll open that and I want to build the file with the waypoints within the grid. I'll click on that, upload and process. It has done that for me. I'm going to open the folder that has this in it to show you the folder, our download folder. Now I'm going to go back into Humminbird PC. I'm going to file, open, and I'm going to open that from our downloads folder. And I'm going to close this one down, open that one up. And so it's only got the waypoints that fell within those boundaries. And I'm going to rename this Lake Ray Hubbard. Okay, so we've got that done. Now I go back to my 
web application and I'm going to leave it set for the file we just uploaded but now I'm going to tell it I want to build a file with the remaining waypoints so I'm going to upload and process it's doing its work okay now I'm going to open this in the folder this is the new file we have with a split B so now I'm going to go back into my Humminbird PC application I'm going to open it file open the file we just created I'm gonna open the waypoints in a new folder in a new window okay you'll notice in our Lake Ray Hubbard we started out with waypoints 1 through 13 or excuse me 1 through 12 they are not present in the second one. Then we jump down to 554 through 568. We'll go down to those. They're not there either. So it did exactly what we wanted it to. Now I'm going to rename this. The remainder of file.gpx. So now we've done it. We've gone through, we've created our file for Lake Ray Hubbard, and then we created a file that has all the other waypoints. So that's a way that you can go through and you can straighten up your files, get it organized. To close out our processing of Lake Ray Hubbard, I want to get our file structure straight. The initial file that we uploaded is stored in our Humminbird PC folder under My Documents. The information that we did built in these two is stored in the Downloads folder that when we came back from our application it, it downloaded these into that folder. So what I want to do now is I want to click on both of them and just simply move them over to my Humminbird PC folder. So now I have the initial file that I brought in, my Lake Ray Hubbard that we built, and our remaining files. As a bonus, let's go and look and see what these files look like in Google Earth. So I'm going to go to our web application again, the Utilities menu, and I'm going to click on the, the conversion from GPX to KML. Make sure that you do not have any tracks in the file that you're going to do this with. It only works if you have just waypoints. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose my file and I want to get Lake Ray Hubbard first and I'm going to do upload and process it's doing its security check now I'm going to open this okay proof positive that it worked. Here's Lake Ray Hubbard and those are the waypoints that we took out. So now let's go do the other one. So I go back and I'm going to choose the remainder of the file. Open that. Upload in process. open that up and these are all of the other waypoints the bogus ones that I put in okay I'm gonna zoom in to Lake Ray Hubbard now I'm going to take off the file that we did and so this area should be blank once I take Lake Ray Hubbard off it did exactly what it was supposed to do now we still have our A, B, C, and D waypoints out there. We can get rid of those, but this is just an exercise to show you that this works.